walking down the road one day in Grotwood, came across these two people having a conversation, like you do in games. Oh, way. Moon sugar is a spice used in many Kajiti dishes. Calling it cat drugs is demeaning to me and my people. I may have spoken harshly, but moon sugar is dangerous. It's used to make skooma, as your people know very well. And therefore, it's a drug. If skooma is illegal, moon sugar should also be. Preposterous. That's like saying we should stop growing golden pears because they are used to make ale. You elves are too much for me sometimes, always losing sight of the forest for the trees. Well, that was interesting, but I guess we'll be on our way now. Well, what do you think? Yes, you there. What, what are your thoughts on this? So, this is something I've never seen. I was just walking past, ran into some people having a conversation, and now they're calling me and saying, hey, come get involved in this. I've never seen that in Elder Scrolls Online, or any other Elder Scrolls game that I've played. So let's see how this turns out. Tell this high elf she's being ridiculous. Yes, moon sugar is used to make skooma, but Khajiit use it as a spice. It's a facet of Khajiiti cultural cuisine. Moon sugar shouldn't be regulated because some people use it for the wrong reasons. She makes a good argument to my ears, but we should probably listen to both sides. Set this Khajiit straight. Moon sugar has important cultural significance to the Khajiiti, but some people use moon sugar to make the drug skooma. It's interesting to point out that she didn't actually say, especially the Khajiit, which is written in the text. I wonder why that is. Making moon sugar illegal hinders skooma vendors, and that's a good thing. So we can't make any choices here, so let's go back and see what kind of choice we can make. Finally! One who understands this Khajiit. If only this one's neighbors could be as accommodating and wise. The High Elf should listen to you. Now it's interesting, at the very beginning, she called the Elven Woman Alway. She called her by name. Since then, they have referred to each other by their race. Which is an interesting thing to think about. Hear that, High Elf? The Traveler agrees with me. Your people are haughty and oppressive. I can't believe you drug-addled cats were allowed to join the Dominion. And now I start to think, maybe this isn't really about Moon Sugar. Maybe these two haven't really encountered people of each other's races before, or have had negative encounters, and uh, maybe they're making some assumptions based on things. And I think there may be some racism going on on both sides. Although, in my experience, high elves are haughty, and all Khajiit are awesome. But I'm biased because I think Khajiit are awesome. But that's just a little thing that I ran into that I thought would be interesting to bring up and bring some focus on, just because it's such an interesting interaction. So rarely have I come across something that if you just keep walking down the road, you'll hear the beginning of a couple of people talking, and you'll walk past it, and it'll be gone. And that's it. If you stop for 30 seconds and listen, suddenly they're drawing you in and talking to you. They're taking the initiative to interact with you, which at least in this game isn't something you see. And I thought this was just the best little, just little snippet of game. So thanks for listening. This was an additional extra episode of ESO Stories that I thought would be neat to point out and talk about. So until next time, have a good one.